Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of Grassroots Racing Show. Welcome to the Grassroots Racing Show. I'm Doug Thompson with co-host Roger Thompson. Hope you've been, been enjoying the show so far, and we're going to take you back to uh, Arizona for the uh, Desert Thunder Nationals at the... Casa Grande, <laughs> Arizona Racetrack, Central Speedway. Yeah, and it's going to be it's really good racing from out there. And I think we're going to see uh, some excellent field of cars because there's cars from nine states and Canada. And you got to think the locals from Arizona will have an advantage because they raced on that track. It pays $3,000 to win, 30 lap event. So that's going to get everybody's attention. You've got guys from Nebraska, Arkansas, Missouri, uh, California, Iowa. Uh, Canada. Yeah, Canada. Uh -huh. This is, this is a, uh, a big race yeah. for these fellas yeah. in November. Last week we <clears> showed, <throat> of course, the uh, uh, Pure Stocks and the Mod Lights and they would be mostly local drivers and that's the way that it appeared because that were the results were almost everybody was from the Arizona area and uh, but this is one now where the big guns will come out and so it's going to be interesting to see how the locals can compete with the big guns or vice versa but it's going to be great racing Mike Kraft will bring you excellent film footage and we're looking forward to the show um, Three thousand dollars to win. Yep, for only thirty laps, and that's that's pretty good money. That's good money. Costs a lot of money to get there and to tow out there, but that's uh, that's what people like to be able to sure. see, and you're going to get a chance to see it when we come back. Stay tuned. Hunter Marriott, Wade Moyer, and George Franzman. Top five runners a day ago. See who gets there tonight. Sobbing will have to work for this one to come from 16th if he wants to go back to back. All right, Central Arizona Speedway for the final time in 2014. Get up on your feet. We're going to send these guys off, the cars and stars of the IMCA modified for the Desert Thunder Nationals. Well, I'll tell you, Chris, there have not been too many races in 2014. When you put Ricky Thornton Jr. on the pole position, he has finished anything but first place. Probably one of the winningest Arizona racers that uh, 2014 have seen, and he is out there on the 20RT, but he has a whole bunch of very, very strong competition. And one of the youngest ones out there right next to him Tyler Merrill, or Tyler Meckel, in the 71 AZ car. Here we go, should be a great A-Main. Ricky Thornton Jr. in 20 RT and Tyler Meckel in 71 AZ. A pair of Arizona racers bringing us down to the green, 30 laps in distance. The final race of 2014 here at Central Arizona Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, here come the modifieds. It's showtime! Out comes the green. Ricky Thornton Jr. will jump to the wagon. Jeff Taylor rolling around the outside. He went right through the middle of Christy Barnett in the 71 of Tyler Meckel. Now he's going to try to go to the race lane. Jeff Taylor going to go to the lead on the opening lap, and he will lead in five. Taylor, your leader, Ricky Thornton Jr. Second, Christy Georges Barnett, Tyler Meckel, and Denny Arcus. That'll be your top five runners here early in this 30 lap. Or Taylor has gone to the lead. He knew he had to get there quickly, and he did. He went to the lead in the five cars. It'll be Taylor, Thornton, Bar Georges. That'll be your top three. See if it strings itself out or everybody able to make their way through here. Good battle side by side outside of the top five. Bold move on the opening lap for Cape City, Arkansas. Jeff Taylor put him to the lead. It'll be Taylor, Thornton, Georges, Barnett, the top three. We'll see who the rest of the field is. Meckel is four. Arcus is five. Polio is eight, Mari is nine, and William Gould right now sitting in the top ten early. Outside of the top ten, it's sobbing 11. Mark 
12, Graham 13, Irvin 14, and Wade Moyer right now 15. There's three wide right outside of the top 15. Hunter Marriott is 16th, Alex Stanford 17th, Kenny Hawkins 18th, Nick Bruce is 19th, and 20th is Spencer Wilson. Then it'll be Garrett Funk 21st, Dan Lee 22nd, Nathan 23rd, the 118 of Jesse Patterson 24th, and a 14 of David Caldwell, the 25th car running on the racetrack as Jeff Taylor is dominating this thing. Taylor finishing third in the A-Main last night, disqualified in the tech area for a non-approved muffler. So Jeff's got a score to settle here tonight as he tries to pick up a $3,000 victory after he was stripped of his third place finish last night. Taylor running away from the field here. Thornton still second, the battle for third. A good one, Tyler Meckel now. A little heat in the tires. He has run down Christy George's Barnett. Pretty good battle there for the third spot outside of the top two. Jesse Sobbing trying to come to the front. See if he can't get in a position to have a second top five on the weekend here in his final weekend in Arizona before heading home to the Hawkeye State. You're watching the Grassroots Racing Show. Lance Mari with a problem in the 19 SB. Mari going to roll off with a broken right front. Not sure what happened there to Lance Mari's 19 car, but he's off the speedway. We'll stay green for the time being. Taylor continues to dominate. Thornton, Georges, Mecco, and Jason Bolio. Bolio started 10th. He's quickly into the top five. As we told you earlier, Bolio ran his other Larry Shaw race car last night, bringing out the backup car tonight. Looking awfully good, sitting fifth here in 90. Sixth is still Cody Miller, seventh Eric Center, eighth Cody Graham, ninth William Gould, and Jesse sobbing into the top 10 now in 99. Outside of the top 10, it's Don Irvin, Hunter Marriott, Alex Stanford, Mike Martin, and Wade Moyer. It's your top 15. Then it'll be Spencer Wilson, Jason Knoll, Denny Arcus, Nick Bruce, Garrett Funk, the top 20, Dan Lee, Jesse Patterson, Kenny Hawkins and the 14 of David Caldwell. And then right back behind them, your leader, Jeff Taylor, William Gould with a problem. Gould in the 60, going to pull up lame. William Gould going to exit the back straight away in the 60. Long trip back to Oklahoma after he does not finish here this second night of our Desert Thunder Nationals in 60. So Jeff Taylor working his way through lap traffic. Now this may get interesting yet. 14 of David Caldwell's a lap down. 61 of Kenny Hawkins has gone a lap down. He'll jump over the banking over there. Jeff Taylor working on the back bumper of the 118 car of Jesse Patterson, the 447 of Denny Arcus, and the 76 of Dan Lee. Sneaking by a couple of them. Dan Lee, the next driver in danger of going a lap down to the leader. So we'll reset the stage here. It'll be the 5 of Taylor, the 20 of Thornton, the 44 of Georges Barnett, 71 of Meckel, and the 90 of Bolio. Outside of the top five, Cody Graham is sixth. Seventh is Hunter Marriott. Eighth, Eric Center. Ninth, Jesse Sobig and Alex Stanford into the top ten. Remember, Hunter Marriott started 22nd, and he is up to sixth. And we're gonna have a problem in turn number two. Hang on, look out everybody right in front of your race leaders. 24. As the 24 of Mike Martin and the 198 of Cody Miller together in turn number three, right as Jeff Taylor was working his way through lap traffic here. We'll check the damage on these two. So we'll slow the action here halfway through this thing. 15 laps in, 15 to go. It has been all Jeff Taylor, but the racing behind him has been awfully good. It'll be Jeff Taylor, Ricky Thornton Jr., Christy Georges Barnett, Tyler Meckel, and Jason Bolio, the top five. Sixth is Cody Graham. Seventh is Hunter Marriott. Marriott, as I said, started 22nd. He's up to seventh in 62.
laps as they race into turn number one. 15 laps in, 15 to go for Taylor. We're coming to green in five. 24 is out. And the back straight away, we keep racing. Taylor, Thornton, Georges, Barnett, Mecco, and now the battle for fifth. There comes Cody Graham. Graham gonna look to the inside of Jason Bolio's 90. He's got the fifth spot in 43. Bolio six, Hunter Marriott seventh, Eric Center, Jesse Sobbing, and Alex Stanford. Still running in the top 10 here as we race down the back straight away. The best battle for sixth. Hunter Marriott, Jason Bolio. Marriott's got something going on the outside here in 62. About the only one making that work up there. He's just went by Bolio into the top six. Cody Graham moving up a spot. He went by Tyler Mecco. Remember, Cody started 15th. He's in the fourth spot now with a 43. Marriott started 22nd. He's up to seventh. Working his way to the outside of Bolio as Jeff Taylor's just driving away up front in five. Down the back straight away. Jeff Taylor in full control. Ricky Thornton Jr. a solid second. Jesse sobbing, Eric center contact. Hang on, you guys. Over the back straight away they go. Sobbing and center will come together. And sobbing gonna go to the pit area in the 99. I think Eric center still sitting over there in six. We're gonna have to have a yellow here. Well, Jesse Staubing, last night's winner, is not going to be a repeat winner here tonight. He went up over the top of three and ended up going right to his hauler in that number 99. Okay. So Jesse Staubing in the 99 and Eric Center in the six got together as they were racing just inside of the top ten. Looks like both may be done. Denny Arcus now on the infield as well. Keep watching. We might be filming racing action at your track next. Well, on the restarts, they're trying to factor in the lapped cars, get them back towards the back of the field so your contenders are all up there still in the running. Here we go, back to green, 11 laps to go. Jeff Taylor going right back to the race lead. Contact, Hunter Marriott, Tyler Meckel together. Marriott trying to crack the top five. Alex Stanford trying to come right with him in 98. Down the back straightaway, good race in here outside of the top three. Taylor's got this thing covered for now. In a five, Ricky Thornton Jr., Christy Georges Barnett, still your top three. Tyler Meckel, Hunter Marriott side by side. Alex Stanford, Jason Bolio side by side. Good battle there for the fifth spot and for the seventh spot. Marriott has cracked the top five now in the 62. As we mentioned, he finished third last night. And trying to get his second consecutive top five here. Less than 10 to go here. Jeff Taylor all alone. Ricky Thornton Jr., Christy Georges Barnett, Cody Graham, and Tyler Meckel. Still the top five running spots here down in front straight away. Hunter Marriott is sixth. Bolio is seventh. Stanford is eighth. Jason Knoll is ninth. And Wade Moyer right now tenth. One ninety-eight to Cody Miller off the racetrack. He'll head pit side. Leader coming back to the start finish line here. Seven laps remaining. We got a crash in the front straightaway. Heads up, fellas. Heads up, fellas. The flag stands Spencer Wilson in 75, Don Irvin in 1X, and Nick Bruce. In the 53 all together here at the start finish line. Yo, know, that right there. Cave City, Arkansas racer looking good as we come back to green this time by. Spencer Wilson in 75, a problem here down the front straight away. He's going to head off pit side. Six laps to go this time by for Taylor. Yeah, 
Everybody single file, strung out now with the five laps to go. 25 laps in, five to go this time by the start finish line. Getting set to come to the end and crown our $3,000 champion here on the second day of the Desert Thunder Nationals here at Central Arizona. Down the back straight away, the five of Taylor. Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to hang with him. Four more trips around. Battle for fifth. There goes Tyler Meckel. Meckel and Mary outside by side of the fifth spot here. We'll see who it is. Tyler Meckel getting a race here on the bottom. He went back out of the fifth spot in 71. Jason Noel working on Jason Bolio as well right outside of the top five. Three laps to go. Jeff Taylor still in command in five. Down the back straight away. Jeff Taylor rapidly pulling away from the field here in the five. The Cave City, Arkansas racer. As we said, he's got full control of this. We've got a spin hang on. Bolio and Meckel together. And Jason Bolio going to keep on a roll and will stay green. Now he's hung up. And a caution will have to fly for Jason Bolio. Jason Bolio in the 90 and Tyler Meckel in the 71 together. In turn numbers, line up good, and we're ready to rock and roll. Jeff Taylor, green, white, checkered. Can a Cave City, Arkansas racer get it done? Coming to green this time, buying five. Back to green we go. Taylor easily will pull away from the field. Down the back straight away again. The white flag will fly. The final lap of the 2014 season here at the Central Arizona Speedway coming to the line with one to go. Down the back straight away will work to the checkered into turn number three. Off turn number four, your $3,000 Desert Thunder National Champion, the Animal Jeff Taylor in five. The top five finishers will be this. Fifth will go to Tyler Meckel in the 71 AZ. Fourth will go to the 43 of Cody Graham. Third to the 44 of Christy Georges Barnett. Second to the 20 RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. And picking up the win, the animal Jeff Taylor in victory lane tonight in five. Welcome back to Grassroots Racing, and now back to our host. Welcome back to the Grassroots Racing Show. I'm Doug Thompson with my brother Roger Thompson. We have had you out at uh, the Desert Thunder Nationals out at uh, Casa Grande, Arizona. Really, really good racing. Uh, $3,000 to win, 30-lap event, and congratulations to Jeff Taylor out of Cave City, Arkansas. You know, we've talked about this many times. Those guys from that Missouri area are tough competitors. And I'm sure that um, uh, Jeff has probably competed with these Missouri guys many times and went out there with a field from, like you said earlier, nine different states, states yeah. and Canada mm -hmm. and won this race, led every lap. It's incredible, but uh, he did an excellent job. Yeah, he did. That's, that's <clears> tough <throat> competition and it's tough to come in and beat the locals at a track that they're familiar with. They've got their cars dialed in they've got the gear ratio the way they need it to be they know how the track changes over the night and so for a guy to come in like jeff taylor uh, and by the way he was driving the five car which is my number so good for him now i'm extra happy for him but to come in from the outside and then uh, lead every lap of that race that's great and you saw the action from uh, uh, arizona and you saw up there that the they had a green white checker right at the end so uh, Ricky Thornton Jr., who was running second out of Arizona, had a chance to be right on him and take that money on the last lap, and he couldn't do it. Jeff Taylor pulled away from him, won that race, and uh, led every lap to do it. So kudos to him and his crew. They did a really good job. Hope you've enjoyed the Grassroots Racing Show, and we'll see you next week on this same channel, and thank you so much for watching. There is exciting racing action every week on Grassroots Racing Show Night at the Track. You don't want to miss a single episode. If you miss any of the shows, be sure to look us up on Facebook or at grassrootsracing.org.